What is going on? It's John Gab here. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about my morning routine process that completely transformed my life. Now, there's a lot of talk online you see from people like know, Alex Homozy and other people when they're like, you don't need a morning routine. You should just drink your coffee and get straight to work. But I don't know about you, but I don't want to have my life created on autopilot. All right. Meaning. I can go out there and just fucking wake up and go and work on my business, right? But what these other men, or when you talk about these morning routines, even, even women, right? What they fail to recognize is that we're not just trying to make money, bro. We're not just here trying to fucking make money and get rich and neglect other areas of our life. By not taking conscious control of your life and making conscious choices about the life you want to live financially, with your fitness, with your health, with your relationships, you know, with your mindset, with your relationship to God, first and foremost, you ain't going to be a successful person. Because you've got to look at success as a holistic approach. You have to look at success as an all round perspective, not just a one area. Oh, I'm successful in that area. I know many, many people who have a lot of money. But I wouldn't class them as successful. Why? They have terrible habits. They can't attract a partner into their life. They're overweight. They eat junk food. Right? So are they succeeding? In one area, financially, yes. But in other areas, they're not. So that, in my opinion, doesn't make them successful. So what I am getting across here is that if you don't, take time to consciously design the life you want and intentionally program that into your mind my bro you do realize you're just going to operate off past programming right so let's say for example you're growing up and you don't have any specific role models on how to have a healthy relationship and then you're going through your whole life and you're just like, oh, let me, let me try and get a relationship in my life. And you keep sabotaging it and it keeps on coming back on you and you keep on having a fucked up relationship. But you just keep on trying and trying and trying. It might work eventually, right? But ultimately, your subconscious mind is going against you. The best example I give for this is when people join the gym in, in the new year, right? How many people join the gym in the, in the new year? And as the fucking year goes on, they quit after a few weeks. It's like 80% failure rate of New Year's resolutions. Why? I used to question this. Why? And what I realized is that the conscious mind can say it wants one thing. Yeah. So I can consciously say, yeah, I want to live this life or I want to achieve this. Or, I want this physique or this money, whatever it might be. But if your subconscious mind is going against that programming, what you're trying to tell it, it will always win. The subconscious mind is like 40,000 times more, more powerful than the conscious mind. So, if, like I said, if you're not taking conscious control of these programs going on in your mind, you're going to operate from past programs. And you're going to operate on autopilot, which we do about 50 to 90% of every day. And we operate from our past thoughts and our feelings and our experiences. So, my bro, this is what pisses me off about these online business gurus who are like, just make money, just grind. My bro, you are missing the point completely because we're not just trying to get rich. What if you make millions, but you're overweight and unhealthy? What if you make millions and you get in shape, but emotionally you're not there? So you can't be the best version, the best father for your son, or the best husband for your wife. It's a holistic approach, my guy. I want to get more, more passionate on this camera, but it's like 5 a.m. right now, so I can't got other people in the house but you've got to look at life as a fucking holistic approach to success like why would you not and the only reason why you wouldn't yeah is because you're a little bitch and you want you only do things that are easy that's it you only do the things that are easy let's say for example yeah you're in mad shape you're ripped you're fucking jacked but you don't work on business and you don't try to make more money. You're, you're not successful, my bro, because you're only doing fitness because it's easy for you. 
The same is with business. If you're making millions in business, but you're neglecting your health and fitness and eating junk food, it's because it's hard, so you quit. You've got to build character. The, the ultimate goal for all of this, if you want to boil it down to the simplest form, is building character. Building a man of discipline, building a man of virtues, building a man of power to himself, self-respect. That's the goal. Do you understand what I mean? Like I've said, I've met so many successful people, but I wouldn't call them successful because they're not successful. They succeeded in one area, but they in themselves are not successful. They can't even control their mind, my bro. I'm not perfect at that, but that is the goal. Mind control, controlling how you think and how you feel. That's the ultimate thing. So anyway, I've gone off on a bit of a tangent here about why it's so important to take control of your mind and take control of your thoughts and have a, have a holistic approach to your success, right? But now let me break down for you the morning routine process that I followed that has completely transformed my life. Now, I remember when I used to work in a supermarket and I used to be pushing trolleys around in the, co in the cold, in the snow, in the rain. And I used to listen to audiobooks, right? I'd listen to audiobooks and I'd listen to uh, like just podcasts and stuff like that. And I remember one podcast I listened to by Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins. And um, what he was saying is his morning routine, he had three versions of it, right? So it was 15 minutes to fulfill, 30 minutes to thrive, or an hour of power. So realistically, the process I'm going to share with you, I didn't even think of this story from Tony until just now, right? But you can apply this process I'm going to share with you to 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour, depending on how much time you have, right? For me personally, I do about 30 minutes. So all I do, right, I have my goal list lined out here. And on my goal list, if you want to get the full version of it, just go to brotherhood.co, right? But I have, my, I have clarity on what I want, Right, so my goals in three areas. So my mindset and spirituality, health and fitness, business, business and finances. Then I have why this is important for me. But on that I have the pleasure of why it's important for me and the pain of if I don't achieve these goals. Because it's important to know the pain and the pleasure, right? Who I need to be to make it happen and how I'm going to make it happen. Right? That's just like my routines and habits, right? That's it. That's the first thing. So I have my mind, health, and fitness yeah next thing i just have like a day in my life like a dream day in my life how i wake up feeling what i'm doing throughout the day how i go into uh, you know my, my work blocks my businesses my fitness you know my evenings whatever right so I read over that not always not always that one and i have my vision board right I have images to match my vision and all i do yeah i read over that i get clear on my goals sometimes i journal my goals out as well I get clear on where I'm going in life. I get clear on my, my uh, goals and you know my visions and things like that. And then all I do is I meditate upon this vision. That's it. People say to me like, oh, how, what is meditation? For me, meditation is just wherever you focus your attention. If you wanna clear your mind, that is your intention. If you wanna meditate over your goal, that is your intention. It's just directing energy towards a point of focus. That's how I describe meditation, yeah? So, when you are meditating over this vision, over your goals, the key, right, is to enter into the unseen and see these scenes playing out in your reality, yeah? You're not doing it from a paradigm of, oh, I want this or I want that. No, it's already fucking done. This is the big shift you must have. You have to tell your subconscious mind, this is my reality, thank you, and feel it and experience it with emotions, with emotions, this is the key to, to imprint into your subconscious mind. Feeling is the secret. And when you imprint into your subconscious with emotions and feelings enough time with repetition, 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 it will manifest. And what is, impre what is impressed into the subconscious must be expressed outwardly, right? So, like I said, as I'm meditating over these goals, I see and experience and feel all the little things that come with it. Right, so I might be visualizing, I don't know, flying first class. I might have visualized buying my fucking Rolex, right? And I got the fucking Rolex, which is on, which is on the vision board, the exact one. And I would visualize, you know, fucking traveling the world. I'm in Thailand right now. I've just been traveling around Bali before that was Dubai, before that was Mexico, right? 
you have to realize, guys, what you impress into the subconscious mixed with emotion will be expressed outwards. Now, here's the other thing. When you're visualizing, yeah, people go, oh, it's hard. Yeah, it's, everything is fucking hard before it's easy, my bro. Everything. You go to the gym, yeah, it's hard in the beginning. The same with meditation and visualization. It's going to be hard in the beginning. But the powers you will unlock once you master visualization and meditation will fucking blow your mind. So it's the question of, first of all, do you believe in using the powers of your mind and tapping into your subconscious mind, which controls 40,000, which, sorry, which is more, power, more powerful than your conscious mind by 40,000 times, and it controls up to 90% of your reality day to day. Do you think it's important and valuable to program that with thoughts, feelings, and actions that you know are gonna get you towards your goal, yes or no? Of course, bro. Anyone that says no is a fucking retard. So if you believe that that's true, yeah, Cool. Well, then are you going to be committed to visualizing and strengthening your mind muscles? Because that's all it is, really. It's just a workout for the mind. And that's it. You know, it's like I look at this as a workout for my mind. I look at this as a way to strengthen my beliefs. And when I meditate and I'm sitting there and I'm visualizing my goals and my, my life I'm building for myself, as I'm visualizing them, guess what happens? Resistance pops up sometimes. I'm confused about certain things. Whatever the mind is trying to fucking resist. And all I do, yeah, I just see myself overcoming that. I just see myself overcoming that. Smiling my way through it. Winning. Accomplishing. Conquering. Succeeding. Yeah? Feeling powerful. Feeling self-respect. Feeling untouchable. Feeling like a fucking G. And as I'm seeing these visions in my mind of the goal accomplished and the process to get there, it makes it a fuck ton more easier on the process of getting to that goal because my subconscious mind has already gone through the process. My mind is wants predictability and certainty. So if it's unpredictable where I'm going, guess what my brain does? It avoids it because it doesn't want to move towards the unknown. It only cares about staying safe and not dying and saving energy. So anytime your brain is trying to move towards something new and it might be some kind of danger there or it kind of might waste some energy, Guess what you're gonna fucking do? You're gonna waste time, procrastinate, avoid doing the task. It's that simple. Some people say, mindset's bullshit. Are you fucking retarded, bro? How can anyone sit there and go, mindset is bullshit? My bro, mindset is driving your fucking entire reality. The people that say that, that are succeeding, they just succeed on an unconscious level, that's it. On top of that, yeah, like I said, question, are they actually successful? Fucking geeks, bro. So many geeks who make money, out of shape, pussies, can't get girls. Ask them, are they insecure about getting a girl? They're going to tell you yes, right? Why is this? Because they don't work in their fucking mindset, my bro. Same with the, the guy who's jacked and doesn't make money, yeah? It's the same thing, right? Same with the guy who's jacked, who makes money, but he's not emotionally there within himself. There's a fucking mosquito on my screen right now. But you get the point, guys. Look, all you got to do is join brotherhood.co, yeah? And inside that, I'm going to give you this document. All right? Inside the document, I'm going to break it all down for you how to actually use your mind to create your reality. Mindset is everything. I've been saying this from day one. We'll say it to the very end. Mindset is everything. That's all there is to it. God bless, no slacking, and I'll see you in my next video. God bless.